I'm an injury attorney talking about brain injury and brain damage, and even though medical professionals call the least severe type of brain injury a mild traumatic brain injury, there is nothing mild about it because the family members can be devastated, as can the person who suffers the brain injury. Often, these types of injuries may not readily show up on an MRI or CT scan or other diagnostic imaging, but the proof is in the pudding of a variety of other tests that professionals that treat brain injury are familiar with. These are psychological tests, occupational therapy tests, and the clinical signs and symptoms that are looked for. These injuries are invisible or hidden in some ways, and legally as an injury attorney, you really have to dig deep and get a, an array of professionals involved in order to prove your client's brain injury to the satisfaction of a jury. And the pieces of the case must be gathered and put together in a way that a jury will understand the depth of the injury. Brain injury involves cognitive reasoning, reasoning skills. Uh, it can involve a lack of memory of certain events. And we have handled a number of brain injury cases that have arisen out of medical malpractice, railroad accidents, or serious car wrecks. In fact, in the year 2000, our law firm and co-counsel obtained what was then the largest verdict ever in the state of Virginia for an individual, and it was a brain injury victim. Um, if we can help you with any questions you have about whether your family member suffered a brain injury, please fill out a quick contact form on our main law firm website or call us toll free and we will help you for a free initial confidential consultation. Thank you.